Yeah. Good job. So yeah, number 23. Thank you. To go back to the drawing board, to start over, to, to basically erase everything you've done and start all over from the beginning and get it right the second time or the third or the fourth or the fifth. So as a inventor, they would say, all right, scratch that. Let's go back to the drawing board and begin again. So yeah, just basically starting over uh, from scratch or from the beginning. So yeah, that's what we got. Go ahead. Yes, great. So the idiom 23, to go back to the drawing board, yes. You already told a good example. So it means to start over with a plan or a strategy because the first two, the first one failed. So let's say you you are trying to solve a computer problem. You came up with a strategy. It doesn't didn't work, and then you can say. Well, let's go back to the drawing board and try it again. Next. Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant thing. So anyway, once in a blue moon, I like that picture. I would put that on my wall. Something that uh, you only do once in a while, not very often. Because a blue moon, what happens... Uh, what's once a year? I think we get a blue moon. That's what they call it. I'm not really sure why they say blue moon. Oh, it's a full, it's a new moon. That's what it is. When you have no moon, no, so that happens every three months, four months. It's, a, it's like a cycle. So, yeah, not as often as uh, you would normally do it. So, our parents used to say this to us when we were younger. Um, Yes, yes. Yeah, so you've heard it too. Yeah, so go ahead, stop. Mm -hmm. Great. Good examples. So amazing, actually. So this once in a blue moon is when it uh, happens uh, infrequently. For example, I only see Kara once in a blue moon. Not very often. Next. At the drop of a hat. Um, yeah, we would say if uh, if someone is really your friend, they would they would come and help you or rescue you if something were to happen at the drop of a hat. You would. Uh, um. Yeah, which not a lot of us have true friends like that, but some. But to be able to go uh -huh. and help somebody or go do something at the drop of a hat with no hesitation, with no thought in their mind, just, okay, I'm on my way. Um, yeah, so it's something you would do for someone you care for uh, very much. You would, you would do it at the drop of a hat. Uh, you need a plane ticket. You need you know, rescuing. You need gas. You need a tire. I would do it in the drop of a hat. And yes, I like that one. Don't get to hear it. Very yes. Often. Yes. Oh, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, so great. Good job, always. So, at the drop of a hat, this is a great one because it means without hesitation or instantly. For example, Call me if you need anything, and I'll be there at the drop of a hat. It means I will come instantly if you need anything. So it's a really nice uh, resource thing to say to someone. Next. Number 26. Yes, uh, to add... In, um, to add insult to injury or to kick a dead horse while it's down, to just keep picking on someone when they're they're already hurting. 
there's no reason for it, but you do. People do it all the time. Um, yeah. Yeah. That we would say there's no need to kick them while they're down, but yeah, to add insults to already an injury. Um, yeah, I'm sure you guys, how would you guys say it there? To add insult to injury, probably that way. Yeah. To, uh, yeah, there's no reason to make things worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but there yeah. are some idioms that is we we don't use, but we have some uh, different ones. Yeah. But it's... yeah, yeah. But you wouldn't say it that way. Um, you probably say it a different way. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. So I don't know how to say in Portuguese uh, a summer idiom that we have close to that one. So to add insult, but I will think about that and I, I will remember, will come in my mind some idiom that we have also. No? Yeah, <laughs> that I like your, what you have put up there. So your first yeah. date, my date showed up late. Yeah, <laughs> yes. to, add like injury, to insult to the injury, he forgot his wallet, so I had to pay. I bet you they didn't have another date. Can yes. Yeah. Go ahead. The next one. Yes. So, uh, that one twenty six to eh? Let's add something to the twenty six to add insult to the injury. It's when you have a bad situation, it becomes even worse. So let's say you're going out on a first date. And your date should up late. That's already a bad situation. But then to add insult to injury, your date forgot his wallet and you had to pay for both of you. So yeah, number 27, she hit the sack. Yes, uh, darling, it's getting late. You should probably hit the sack. Yeah, it means to go to bed. Um, I had a boss when I was commercial fishing. He used to say, it's time to hit the fart sack. It's just funny. It always stuck with me. To hit the fart sack. But yeah, to hit the sack. To hit the hay. To go to bed. So go ahead. Yes, yes, so to hit the sack means to go to sleep. Example, I'm tired, I think I'll hit the sack. Mm 